Welcome back to another day of Vlogmas. You are going nowhere faster. Don't even know where you're going for real. Anyways, y'all, we are out and about early on this Monday morning, and I actually been meant to pull out the camera, but I was doing a lot. Anyway, so it is 10.05 in the morning right now. We actually just came from eating. We went to get something to eat, and now I am on my way to get Kaya's birth certificate. Um, yeah, y'all, I'm going to get her birth certificate, so don't judge me, but yes, my child is three years old, and I have yet to obtain her birth certificate, but hear me out, right? First of all, it should be a crime, it should be illegal. Kai, I'm trying to talk to the camera, you you a little loud. Oh, no, I want to hold my bear, too. You want to hold your bear? Okay. Let's talk about the fact that you have to pay for your child's birth certificate. That's kind of the reason why I never really ordered it because I didn't need it. So I was like, if I'm gonna have to pay for it, I'm gonna just wait. To why is it not free? Let's talk about that. Why is it not free? Like, I feel like the first copy, let me make sure I put this in my GPS. Um, I feel like the first copy should be free. And then obviously if you lose it or continue to lose it, then that's when you should start having to pay but the first copy should be free but like i never looked into how much it costs or none of that it was just the fact that i had to pay for it it was like okay well i don't even need it so i'll, I'll wait mind y'all kai was in daycare uh going to doctor's appointments getting shots all of that and like i never needed it but now we're trying to get her into a different daycare and i need it so i was trying to do it online but the way online wants you to submit all your documents for whatever reason my documents aren't reading like they're not getting cleared and it's just taking a lot longer than i was expecting and hoping so i'm just gonna go in person and do it i have my id on me i don't remember if it's like a job and you know how like um depending on what form of id you have you may need more than one hopefully my id will suffice just my id so we're gonna go do that in person um then we're gonna go to hobby lobby y'all finally if you guys watched the first day of vlogmas y'all know which if you didn't you need to like don't be skipping around watch every vlog girl um or guy um but if y'all watched the first day of vlogmas then y'all know i was trying to go to hobby lobby but it was closed because it was a sunday i didn't know that was a thing for hobby lobby so yeah i still have yet to actually go to hobby lobby even though i wanted to over a month ago now i did go to five below uh like two days ago they didn't have nothing they had absolutely nothing like the five below i be seeing on my tiktok and stuff it's a different five below than the one that's by me because i could not find anything so we're gonna see what hobby lobby is hitting for it's not far from where we gotta go to do the whole birth certificate thing so yeah i look a mess too y'all i need to wash my hair like real bad again today is monday thursday will make three weeks that my hair has been straightened and yeah this this is this is a long time for me okay after week week two i'll be quick to wash my hair but i've been trying to thug it out for real y'all because i didn't want to have to deal with my hair for too too long for real for real, what it is is i ordered a bunch of Mayo the thing i ordered a bunch of my yell products for for black friday and i'm waiting for all of that to come in so i can really do my hair because y'all and i've also been considering cutting it again i just edited that vlog um where i was going to get my hair done and i got it done and i was telling y'all i was gonna cut a couple inches off i trimmed my hair like twice since that video but it was very much so trimmed i didn't do a lot at all but i i really want to just cut like two to three inches off <laughs> And I'm like, I'm about to get my hair braided back up and I probably won't be straightening my hair again till like another five months or so. Um, so I might as well go ahead and get this cut out of the way since my hair will kind of be braided up. And then if I go ahead and get it cut to where it's healthy again, it'll all be grown back by the time I straighten my hair again, if it makes sense. Girl math is girl mathing. Visitors parking for vital. Yep, that's me. Yep, that's me, and they don't look like they're busy. Let me not, you know, jinx anything. Hopefully not. Y'all, let me tell So, first of all, we're here at Hobby Lobby. That's one. Two, why well, I got the birth certificate same day, y'all. Same day. So, I walk in or whatever. It was dead. It was nobody in there whatever. So, I had to fill out the application that was on the wall. 
Yeah, come on, baby, get out the car. Um, I had to fill out the application on the wall, and then I just gave it to the lady at the desk, gave her my card, she charged it, boop, boop, boop. And then she called me back to the uh, window. I had to sign a paper, so I'm thinking it was just a receipt or whatever. Come on, let's go inside the store. I'm thinking it's just the receipt saying that she charged me, and then she hands me the birth certificate, and I'm like, but it, it, it looked different than New York uh, birth certificate. You got a cupcake, baby? Yes, I got a corn. <laughs> um, so it looked different from New York birth certificate, so it didn't look like a birth certificate. I'm like, this is a birth certificate? She like, yeah, I'm like, like my mouth literally dropped. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. Like if I would have known that I could get this uh, birth certificate same day y'all, I would have been came up here. Like, y'all don't know how long I've been trying to get this girl's birth certificate, but I was trying to do it online, and clearly that wasn't working. So yeah, y'all, we are now at Hobby Lobby for the first time. Let's see what it's like. I'm so mad. I'm definitely feeling like um, college Kalea. What happened, baby? I'm definitely... Merry Christmas. Yes, let me put my bag down. So let me show y'all what it looks like in here. Offer it. So I'm definitely feeling like college clay because I don't have my tripod, y'all. My camera's just on my wrist and it's just hard to do everything. Oh, they're having a little sale, 50% off Christmas party and tableware. I don't need no more coffee mugs, y'all, if we are being honest. But I could get some of these bows. Y'all know, oh, these bows is $10, y'all. $10 for some bows. Cause I know every year I get my bows from the dollar store, but I always pick out the ones that go with my theme. But like that bag is just silver and white, and though it's not pink, it still goes because our tree got silver and white in it. Oh, look at this little stocking holder, y'all! Stocking stuffer. Kai has been real into unicorns lately, not on theme, but it's cute. Let's see where their ornaments are because that's really what I would be interested in if I'm getting anything. All Christmas decor is really 50% off, y'all. Love that for us. Let me go this way. Look at all these bulbs, y'all, but I do not see any pink ones. Luckily, I don't need anything because it's given everything already sold out for real. This one kind of had some pink in it, but not enough if I were to get it. And it's $16, but 50% off, that's what, $8? $8? So $8 for 50 ornaments? That is not bad. Not bad, y'all. When I tell you guys that was the worst store I've been in for this holiday season so far and I don't know if it's because we're already in December because like I told y'all in day one of Vlogmas I normally wait till after um, Thanksgiving to like decorate and everything. Huh? Yeah my jacket's brown. I normally don't like start decorating and everything till after Thanksgiving but since I went so early this year everything was in stock and the stores looked amazing. Your jacket's black? Yes it is baby. So smart. Um, but now that we're finally in December, y'all, Happy Lobby had nothing, nothing. I almost bought a roll of um, gift wrap just because it was only two fifty. Hold on, let me close the door, baby. Just because it was only two fifty, but then the line was crazy, and I was like, I'm not gonna stand on this line for one thing. But anyways, we are now at Five Below. Ty is the only kid I know who literally gets a toy every time we come outside. So, about to let her go crazy real quick right before Christmas. Did you just tell me to stop talking? No, you stop, stop talking. Come here, let me wipe your nose real quick. Oh, they got bows here too. And some pink gift wrap. I'll come look at that in a second. See if she finds anything she wants. I kind of want some fuzzy socks, y'all, to walk around the house with. They're only two dollars. I think I'm gonna get me a pair. Do this? Does this roll? And it does. What do you want, baby? Oh, she in the dollar section. She's talking my language. You want Peppa Pig or you want Minnie Mouse? Look, Minnie Mouse is right there. 
You don't want mini? I like mini. Do you want this one? Here, Mom. You want mini? No, I need this You need two? You don't just need one? It's the same thing. Get one. Get one Peppa Pig. In your hand, baby. Just get one. It's the same thing. We're going to get this one, okay? Oh, look at this. This is an ornament, y'all. It's a pink elephant, but it's not like my shade of pink. Okay, you don't need two. Let me untangle it. Just one. Wow, elephant. Wow, elephant. That stocking's kind of cute, actually. Come on, let's go this way. I'm actually about to see if we can find a gingerbread house in here for $5. Because, y'all, I don't know. I never noticed at grocery stores how expensive the damn gingerbread houses be, y'all. It's like $15 for something that people don't even eat because it's nasty. She just be talking my language, y'all. She's going right to all the dollar stuff. I ain't even mad at you, Stink. Mm -hmm. Get whatever you want. <laughs> All right, you're just picking up anything now. Come on. Mm, that's so good, donuts. The donut's so good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that cheese wants its color. That's the color of the kitty? Yeah, it wants its color. Come on. When I tell y'all Vlogmas is kicking my ass, yeah. I'm so tired, you guys, but I am pushing myself to be really disciplined because if not me, then who? If I'm not gonna push myself, then who is? Who will? You know, I can easily say I'm tired, I don't feel like it, I'm not editing, and I edit, but what good is that gonna do me? <laughs> so yeah, y'all, I am so tired. Um, we got back in the house at like 12, wasn't that late. We napped, well, I napped. I tried to take a nap. I tried to put her down for a nap too. I winded up falling asleep and then she came in the room and woke me up and was just messing with me. So I was in and out of sleep. She finally fell asleep at like almost three o'clock. Mind you, I had an alarm set for three o'clock because I had things to do. But we're going out to dinner and I wanted her to be well rested and not cranky. So I just set aside originally what I had to do. And I was like, I'll just do it tomorrow um, so she can get her little hour nap in. So yeah, y'all, we are going to hibachi today. Oh, well, let me tell y'all. So we as a family did no red meat November. And obviously we're in December now, but I am very proud of us because we, we really did that. Why did I say it like that? We really did that. Not that, that. <laughs> we really did that. Um, it was only hard because I was tired of chicken. We were eating chicken a lot. We did have a couple things with ground turkey. Um, we had salmon more than we normally do, but mind you, we love salmon, so like that's cool. Like I even considered, I'm like, you want to try, you know, being pescatarian next? He was not, he was not with that, which is fine. But yeah, uh, finally happy that we can have red meat again because I need some variety in our diet. Personally, I don't know if it was, on, I don't know if it's because it was only 30 days, but I don't really feel a difference. I'm still tired. Okay, I still be tired. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly not even sure what all the other benefits of not eating red meat it are or is. But I didn't really notice a difference. But that's neither here nor there. We were planning originally to go to a steakhouse, like a really nice steakhouse. Um, so we could have us a nice little steak since we can eat red meat again. But the day we were going to go, it was raining. And if you don't know, I do not leave my house when it rains. I do not like the rain. I am an introvert in that aspect. If it's bad weather, count me out. No questions asked, count me out. If I don't have to work, I am not leaving my house if it's up to me. Um, so we didn't go to the steakhouse. So then we were gonna go to Texas Roadhouse, but we both didn't feel like going to Texas Roadhouse either. So on Mondays, uh, the hibachi near us, they do a little special. So it's like, we be thinking a lot. We was like, you wanna just go do, cause we were supposed to go to Texas Roadhouse yesterday and we didn't feel like it. So it was like, you wanna just do hibachi tomorrow since they have the little special and we agreed on that. So we're on our way to hibachi now. I also have to go to the beauty supply store. So I'm gonna stop at the one that's by the hibachi. So convenient, we're just killing a lot of birds in one stone today. Um, I need some box dye for real, for real. I think I'm gonna just get it from Target. But if it's cheaper in the beauty supply store, I'm gonna get it. I use the basic standard. I'll put it right here. Claro black hair dye. 
it's for my wigs i don't need no expensive dye and it's the cheapest y'all it's crazy though because pre-covid yeah pre-covid that box dye used to be three dollars during covid it went up to five and now it's like six dollars a box crazy to me but it's still the cheapest black hair dye on the market so i'm gonna do that i don't really like rinsing my wigs because obviously rent is uh rent out after a period of time so yeah i'm gonna see if they have um black hair dye the same brand if it's cheaper i also need to restock on my um my protein my deep conditioner protein treatment kind of thing that i used to use when i first went bald yeah i gotta get back to my old habits i'm gonna get some new hair scissors because i did order a new pair off of amazon of an old pair that i had but it kind of like wore down but the new pair is like hard to open so i'm gonna get some new hair scissors um and i think that is all but i'm hungry y'all Kaya is too she woke up uh from her nap like mommy i'm hungry i'm like me too baby good thing we on our way to get food right now so don't even worry about it sweetheart My phone is over on the charger, but I believe it's like nine o'clock at this point. Ignore everything going on on this on this table. These Amazon boxes all got Kai's gifts and stuff in it, so they're just sitting right there in the meantime, between time. Let me know in the comments before. I, I wanna stop doing this, but normally every year, we wait till the night before Christmas to wrap presents, and it be a lot. And I be doing it by myself, cause my mama don't be wanting to help, and I don't know if they know how to wrap, wrap no gifts. Um, but I would prefer to like wrap them as we get them. But at the same time, there's not really a designated, excuse me, there's not really a designated place to store them once they're already wrapped. And then the wrapping paper is going to get messed up and have holes in it. And I don't want that. I want everything to be nicely, freshly, crisp and wrapped the night before Christmas. I don't know. Um, anyways, I wanted to show you guys all that I got from the beauty supply store because I didn't spend $50 in the beauty supply store on nothing so first of all they had the dye y'all they had the dye so this is the dye that i was talking about and it was 450 in the beauty supply store let me grab my phone so i can tell you how much it is on target because it's definitely cheap it was definitely cheaper in the beauty supply store than it was on target i always thought it was cheaper on target because y'all know beauty supply stores be taxing like my yell in the beauty supply store is 17 18 dollars whereas in target it's like 12 13 dollars and on the website it's like 12 13 but the beauty supply stores be trying to get 20 dollars for my yell products like they be bugging um so i was surprised that this hair dye was only 450 and in target it's I know you freaking lying. It was definitely cheaper in the beauty supply store than it was on Target. So I was right. It was in something. <sighs> Granted, it's only a 30 cent different. It's 419 at Target. See, I, I knew I wasn't tripping. I knew in Target it's cheaper than the beauty supply store, but whatever. Whatever. Anyways, um, but mind y'all, I was also going to try the Cream of Nature brand. I've never used Cream of Nature, like literally on all my wigs, I always use this dye. But the Cream of Nature at the beauty supply store was $3.99, so it was $4. And I almost got that, but th their black was called Natural Black. And like, I want a real dark jet black kind of thing, and this is just black. 
they have a natural black as well or it's called something soft black yeah they got that as well so i'm assuming this is darker than natural black and of course it's darker than soft black and i want it real black so back to what i was originally doing i'm gonna start getting my hair dye from just target i thought i was doing something so i got the hair dye i got me a pair of scissors like i said i would straight hair shears stainless steel five and a half inch whatever um i got me a protein treatment i think i'm going to do this before well tomorrow <laughs> after i wash my hair i got the keratin two minute reconstructor thing that you put after the um protein treatment i got some shower caps this is what i use for when i do my deep condition and then this is the old diva goodie that i was telling y'all about that i used to use with my hair um when i first cut my hair off and they changed the packaging and everything but it's still good it's hair mayonnaise deep conditioner they had a hair mayonnaise leave-in and i almost got that because i've never seen it before but i was like i don't need no more than what i came in here for and then i just got me a blistex because you can never have too many of these as often as we lose them can never have too much okay so that's all that i got from the beauty supply store and then we went to the liquor store so i could re-up on my wine so i'm a sweet wine kind of girl so i drink moscato so i got me some moscato and i do prefer the regular moscato over the pink moscato i don't know it's just some it's something different i got um my big bottle of moscato but then i wanted to try these two wines right here we have the white merlot and the original white zinfandel so on the big bottles of sutter home they have a sweet scale so i'm gonna show you it on the back of this bottle hold up so as y'all can see moscato is really really sweet don't mind my nails y'all they look a freaking mess oh my god but um moscato is like very very sweet it's very high on the sweet scale the white merlot was like right here so what's that medium sweet and then the white zinfandel was in between medium sweet like right in the middle of the medium sweet line so they're both rather sweet never had them but i kind of want to get into different kind of sweet wines because i'm noticing at restaurants and stuff don't none of them ever have moscato like is moscato not a real wine or what they only have these dry nasty wines anyways i want to try the white merlot i was sitting on the couch for an hour you guys i should have put these in the freezer or something so they can get cold because that's another thing i like my wine cold i don't know how people be drinking room temperature wine like having the whole wine cellar and <laughs> granted sometimes i do put ice in it like if i was to drink this right now and it's not cold enough to me <laughs> i'm tired y'all i'm sorry and it's not cold enough for me i would put ice in it but i'd rather not because ice kind of waters it down but i need my wine cold don't smell it it smells like wine <laughs> Mm. It would probably be better, um, cold. I don't know. White Merlot. I'm going to try this one, too, because why not? White Zinfandel. This one isn't as sweet as that one, and that one wasn't even that sweet. I guess because I'm so used to Moscato, yo. That's what it is. Let's see. If I like white Zippendale, they be having this at restaurants and stuff. This might be the sweetest wine they got. They don't go Moscato sweet. This isn't bad. The white Zippendale isn't bad. It definitely gives grown and sexy dinner date kind of vibes. Okay. I think I like this better than the white Merlot. Mind job. They have regular Merlot too, so I was looking at the sweetness scale on regular Merlot. Regular Merlot is extra dry. Is that at the bottom? Yeah, it's dry. It was right between medium dry and dry, so I knew I wasn't gonna like that. But this white Merlot saying it was sweet, I thought it was better. This one is giving more of like a red wine. I feel like that's why I don't really like it. I'm sorry, y'all. My lighting in here is also very trash but yeah i'm not a red wine kind of girl that's another thing like i like sweet wines but i do not really like sweet red wines like sutter homes they make a uh, sweet red it's strong it's like 13 percent alcohol it'll, it'll get you there might because moscato's only um 10 percent does it say how much these little ones are 
oh so the white merlot was 11.5 and the white zinfandel is only 9.5 y'all know how i feel about alcohol wines whose alcohol percentage is under 10 but <laughs> the white uh zinfandel is pretty good so i don't mind it too much um i forgot where i was going with oh how i don't like red wines yeah the setter homes sweet red I don't like it. It's good, it's strong, but I don't like red wines, and that is because in college, you know, college students love them some Taylorport, and I've had a bad experience with Taylorport, so I just overall do not like red wines anymore. They all taste the same to me. That's that. But I don't know how long this vlog is. I feel like it's not long at all because I didn't do much. I forgot to pull out my camera the first half of our day. Um, it also isn't that interesting, but nonetheless, we pushing out the content. Shout out to the people who are new here. If you are new and you made it to the end of this video, we gonna get along just fine because clearly you loyal and you really mess with me because you still here at the end of a vlog that I didn't do too much and you new here. So you feel me? You, you ain't really build your loyalty yet, but you staying to the end of this video is showing you loyal and I love you for that. So yeah, tomorrow we are going to, I feel like in every vlog from here on out, I should like give y'all a sneak peek into what we're doing tomorrow to make you want to come back. So yeah, tomorrow we are going to be cutting my hair. I'm thinking if I might just do that tonight. Cutting my hair, um, protein treatment, hair mask, washing my hair. Do I want to blow dry tomorrow? My hair appointment is not till Thursday, so like, yeah, we're just going to wash it. And then we're going to game night. My friend Tanaya, she is hosting her bi-weekly game night at her house. We're doing a color war theme, so we all pick the color and we have to bring a drink that is the color that we picked. I picked blue, which reminds me I have to find a drink that I will be making and bringing. Also need to make sure I'm properly ending these vlogs. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and end this one here. Again, if you like what you see and you made it to the end of this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff, and I will see you guys in tomorrow's vlog. Bye, bye. I'm not afraid to